Today we speak about mistakes that even experts make. Even professional investors can be misled by cool products. They think cool product must be a cool stock. Sometimes that's true, like in Apple and Google. In the early days, these were really good stocks to buy. But in most cases, a cool product means the stock is ex expensive. You pay a lot for it. Economists call this the halo effect. The shine of the product reflects on the stock price. To know how much you pay for a stock, you can actually use the Obermott value ranks. They help you tell you how much value you get for the price you pay. Let's have a closer look at that. What you see here are world-famous technology companies ranked by their value rank in column 2. Samsung and HP are good value. Their price is low compared to its size. Facebook and the parent of Google, Alphabet, have very, very low value ranks. They are expensive to their current size. What I find interesting here on that chart is the comparison between Samsung and Apple because they are fierce competitors, direct competitors. And one has a value rank of 94, Samsung, and the other one has a value rank of just 33. And if you look at the growth, Samsung even grows more. It has a growth rank of 71 versus Apple with a growth rank of only 42. So clearly, of those two competitors, Samsung is the cheaper company. And the same picture repeats itself with HP and IBM. Both now are IT services companies. But the value rank of HP is almost double the value rank of IBM. And HP also grows more at the value rank of 57. So here you can actually identify for what brand you pay how much. And it helps to always look at that value rank to not pay a too high price for the stock. What experts sometimes also forget is the safety of a stock. How much debt the stock has and that can, can hurt a lot. Think of Enron 12 years ago. Enron had a lot of debt and people could actually see from the balance sheet that they run a really risky business. Enron later went bankrupt. How can you assess the safety of a stock? Well, the Obermott safety ranks does this for you. Let's have a look at the Obermott safety rank together to assess the technology stocks of before. Now we have sorted the table by the last column, the safety column. Microsoft and Samsung are the safest companies in terms of their balance sheet and Apple and IBM are those companies with the highest risk. Now with IBM I'm less worried because they are a service company. This is a more steady business. But Apple is quite surprising. You may have heard that Apple has a lot of cash on their balance sheet. Why is it possible? How is it possible? that they have a safety rank of only 21. Apple doesn't only have a lot of cash, it also has a lot of debt. And the Obermott safety rank makes that visible to you. And there is a third mistake that experts way too often make. Are bad news really bad? Not necessarily. For investors, bad news are sometimes good news. Think of Volkswagen. Remember the exhaust scandal? Well, when you bought Volkswagen stock at the peak of the exhaust scandal, you would have made a return of 30% by today. Why is that? Bad news often suppress the stock price way too strong. Let's look at the automotive industry to illustrate that better. What we have here are large global car producers, sorted again by their value rank. And what you can see is that Nissan and Toyota have top value ranks today, while Tesla has a very bad one. Why is that? Well, Nissan and Toyota both have scandals. Nissan has a scandal because of its CEO, and Toyota had to recall cars. So these are both companies that are actually good buys right now especially Toyota, if you look at their growth rank. What does this mean for you as an investor? Stay calm, look at the ranks, 
and look at the facts and start buying when everybody else is selling.